It's a spooky night in the spooky town, and two spooky kids are planning to have some spooky fun. This wall. And this wall. And this wall, too. What about the ceiling, Todd? Wouldn't it be too hard to decorate both the ceiling and the walls? <laughs> oh, dear Todd! Anything is possible with magic. We can have glowing stickers all over the walls and the ceiling of your room. And I brought this magical book that has glowing stickers of all shapes and sizes. The young witch, Jinx de Broom, is helping Todd decorate the walls of his bedroom with the help of her magical sticker book. Huh. It's really easy. All we need to do is open this book and... Ugh. Oh, no. Jinx can't seem to open her magical book of stickers. Oh, I forgot. This book has a lock on it. <laughs> <laughs> huh. mm -hmm. She kept trying everything she could, but the book just wouldn't open. Mm. It was almost as though the book did it want to open? Ugh. As they watched, writings appeared on the book. You are trying too hard in all the wrong ways. The book challenged Todd and Jinx. It said, if you are looking for stickers, get ready to answer my riddles. What? The book is going to ask us riddles? What do we do, Jinx? We will do what needs to be done, Todd. Let's earn those stickers through a battle of wits. Jinx and Todd accepted the challenge, and the book presented the first riddle. It asked, this shape has three sides and three corners. Choose wisely and claim your honor. Do you know which of these shapes has three sides and three corners? Tap on the correct shape. It's a triangle. Three sides, three corners. As they watched, another riddle appeared. It asked them, this shape has four sides and four corners. Choose wisely and claim your honor. Is it this one? But this one also has four sides and four corners. Huh. It's a trick question, Todd. Hey, Book of Magic stickers, this riddle is incomplete. Both squares and rectangles have four sides and four corners. You cannot trick us. The book couldn't trick Jinx and Todd. It completed the riddle. It read, all the sides of this shape have equal length. <gasps> Which of these shapes has sides of equal length? Tap on the correct shape. That's a square. Four sides of equal length. The next riddle appeared. The book asked, choose the shape that has no sides or corners. Choose wisely and claim your honor. Which of these shapes does not have sides or a corner? Tap on the correct shape. This one doesn't have corners. A circle doesn't have any sides or corners. Now the book asked the final riddle. Choose all the triangles from the shapes I've shown. Remember? You are closer than ever to your treasure. Which of these shapes are triangles? Something's not right. All these shapes have three corners and three sides. So, all of them are triangles. 
they got the final riddle right. All these shapes are triangles. The book flips open and it glows with a bright light. So bright that it filled up the whole room. Yay! <laughs> Jinx and Todd closed the book as they couldn't see anything. And as the light from the book faded, stickers of all shapes and sizes appeared on the walls and ceilings of Todd's room. Whoa! This is awesome! Huh? Huh? Good night, Todd. I hope you like your bedroom better now. Thank you, Jinx. I love it. You're right. Anything is possible with magic. Hmm. Ha! That's a circle. Oh, that one is a triangle. This is a square. Oh, this one is also a triangle. Oh, that one's also a square. 